Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining in. We're going to be moving on to a new project. Um, basically a resto mod project. We're going to be using a modern chassis with a classic cab and bed. Um, it's going to be a show car, so uh, we're going to do every, everything's going to be powder coated, painted. Uh, you name it, it's going to get done. Um, shiny and chrome. And basically uh, we're going to be doing air full uh, falling rear suspension tubular front um, and yeah basically uh, strong motor um, custom uh, upgraded brakes custom exhaust uh, so the main thing that we're going to be moving on to now is the engine um, so basically the, the customer wanted to use a, a Ford Mustang motor um, the previous model to the new generation I think it's the 5.8 litre V8 um, I'm not too sure with Mustangs. Um, you put a Mustang motor in your car if you want to create a crowd. So I convinced the, the customer not to do that and to go with a 4 litre straight 6 barrel motor. So I've got a big passion uh, for these engines. I own one myself. And uh, yeah, basically um, we wanted something different and uh, something strong. And for the price you pay for the Barra um, here in South Africa, they are they are worth the power for the money. There is obviously always the the, the jersey um, conversation and argument. Um, but yeah, we just decided to go the motor, and uh, we're going to be stripping it down. The owner did bring me one. Um, we're going to strip it down from bolts and nuts, and bring it back up. We're going to be doing custom exhaust manifold, plenum intake, custom everything and uh yeah I'll put some power through the motor uh, right so uh here's our motor um basically the owner got it for a bargain uh, apparently it's run bearings or something it's not turning so we will be stripping it down to check what's going on on the inside but if this motor is a giant door stop um what we're basically going to do is use this exact motor just to mock up on the chassis for engine position gearbox position um, and then make a coffee table up. Uh, so if that is the case, we'll get a wrecker motor or scrap yard motor for like nine grand. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make this up with a ZF6 HP gearbox, which is common in many cars, including the territory, uh, which this motor is in. So yeah, we're gonna break it down and see where it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen.
Jefe. So uh, we've got the, the motor in our engine building room. Sorry, at the moment it, uh, it's a little bit of a mess with us moving into our new shop. So we've got all of our boxes and stuff inside here. Um, yeah, so I have been chatting to Woody from Skid Factory in, in Australia. Uh, Woody and Al, otherwise known as Turbo Yoda from Mighty Car Mods. Um, so Woody, you know, gave me a few things to look at, like uh, radius, the oil pump and that kind of stuff. There is a lot of variants of the barrow motor uh, so please don't be under the impression that one barrow motor is the same as all of them um, so in South Africa we get uh, if I'm not mistaken we get the BF version or BG version EF version uh, the BF Falcon version which is in the territory um, the FG as far as I understand otherwise on, on Google known as the 325T motor the red top um, is the, the big boy um, you can use things like R35 wheel packs on that and you know uh, the VVT solenoids are work differently um, they're a little bit longer um, basically the motors are different in that sense um, otherwise the mechanical side of it as far as I understand is the same so yeah big shout out to Woody um, thanks for the advice and stuff uh, so we're going to tear this down now, uh, check what's going on on the inside. I haven't seen what's inside this motor yet. Uh, we don't know if this motor's rust or um, if it's anything in good inside. The plugs are still in here and they put um, newspaper in to block the ports. So that's cool. It's still got the oil filter on. The only orifice that's open is the water pump. So hopefully inside here yeah, we see not a disaster to follow along. different variants in barrel motors um, the FG you basically just slightly pop off the um, oil seal and then twist it anti-clockwise and then you pull it out with this one uh, the BF if I'm not mistaken again um, is there's bolts on the inside so you pop these off which obviously someone has done before not done it very well Yeah, 
Okay, so when removing these, just be careful. First tip, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, think when I did this, is keep the tapper cover tightened down. And then it should just pop off like that. Um, I got a bit overzealous there with removing the bolts, but keep the bolts tight, and then when you pop it off, it'll literally slide out. If you loosen the tapper cover without uh, removing these first, you're gonna circle, which obviously that person did. Then when removing the tapper cover, you just lift it up and then slide it forward. Hmm. Everything still looks good. The VVT solenoids look a bit wrecked. But otherwise everything else looks pretty good. It does actually look pretty fucking good. Someone took care of it, I've seen worse. Okay, so I think what we'll do, um, Jockey, grab one of those new trays I bought, the smaller one, preferably. Let's put it under and then we'll flip the motor and check this out.
So, I took off the crank bolt and some of wad of silicone because that's how we build the engine. <laughs> Right, so as you can see, the inside of the motors, how can I say, it's not blackened, uh, it is full of gunk. Um, it's been standing apparently for a couple of years, so I'm not surprised. I do suspect it blew a heat gas, a heat gasket. I do suspect it blew a head gasket and um, filled up with coolant and either heat seized or um, hydro locked so uh, yeah we'll be carrying on Right, so we have found our problem. Uh, it smells like a donkey's behind and looks like one too. Um, my gas head gasket blew, pissed water in here and hydro locked and now it's been sitting hydro locked for a couple of years. We shall continue on. Okay, right guys, so we got the motor broken down, um, literally. Um, what we found is it probably blew a head gasket and um, water got on top of the pistons, um, hydro locking the motor, which basically uh, you can't compress the water into anything and uh, yeah, it locks the cranks. <laughs> It's fucking fucked, eh? Now I have to delete that. No, it was good. Yes, so, um, basically that's what uh, caused the motor not to turn over. So what we are doing at the moment is we have thrown some uh, acid cleaner inside the cylinders and uh, basically we will let it stand for a, for a section. And um, yeah, the... The head is still pretty good nick um, besides the rust in the one cylinder which I, I reckon is the one that locked up um, so we'll continue to just uh, take the crank and the pistons see if we can get everything out um, send the block in if need be uh, depending on what the customer comes back with and uh, yeah we shall be carrying on <laughs>
Right, so we have the, the barrel completely stripped down. Um, it's a little bit less uh, damage than what I assumed. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. We will get everything cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna hone the, the, the sleeves to see how bad um, the rust is, but it doesn't look too bad to be honest. Once you look the pistons out, everything looks pretty good inside. Um, and yeah, we're going to uh, send the, the head in to get dead, skimmed. Um, I'll remove all the valves, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to chat to the owner, um, see what's going to happen with uh, uh, the pistons and all that, what pistons we're going to use, and all the rest of the stuff, all the uh, bearings, all that kind of stuff replaced. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. You can see straight ahead. Hone. <laughs>